Hey guys, my name is Christian. I'm one of the personal trainers here at NEU Fitness Department. Today I'm going to take you through a hip style training session using just a single chair and two dumbbells, or you can use possibly water bottles or anything that's easily holdable in your hand and that's to it. Alright, we're going to take what we're going to do today is four to five rounds of 30 seconds each exercise, except for the last one, which is going to be for a minute. So the first thing we're going to do is squat for 30 seconds, then as soon as you're 30 seconds is up, transition into single leg, squats, we do entirely, the chair behind us. Alright. We're going to start in three, two, one, go. You want to make sure you want to kind of sit all the way back in the chair, move your legs in the same position, treating your feet like a tripod. Good, almost there. At 30 seconds, we're going to transition to that single leg, which is going to be a little bit more difficult. You keep your breathing, keep your breathing nice and steady. Nice control guard for your joints in three, two, one. Good. We're going to transition to where you're going to have one leg, hands on the ground, one extended out. Good. After this, we've got a 10 second rest, and we're going to transition to the next exercise. Good, keep it up, almost there. Alright, in three, two, one, good. Alright, next exercise we're gonna do is you have the option to do an incline or a decline push-up. For incline, you wanna hold the side of your chair, be a nice 45 for the body, give your elbows to your side, up, slow down, back down, up. And for that decline, you're going to want your toes for the end of the chair. Same thing, keep that 45, elbows to your body, down, up. Good. And then once the 30 seconds are up on the push ups, you're going to come right back to the chair. You're going to have your palms, lay your foot up for an incline, legs out in front of you, keep your back towards, towards the chair, elbows to 45, down, up for 30 seconds. Alright. Now, for this, I'm going to show you how to do both so that I'm going to transition at some point from incline to decline and then 30 seconds go into the dips. Alright. I'm going to start in 3, 2, 1, go. Gonna keep it nice and controlled. That was the next 45, push your body. If it would help putting your chair against a wall or a door to make sure you have to slide on you, you're gonna transition to the decline. Good, keep it nice and controlled still. Elbows at 45. Try to your chest touch the floor. Good. Three, two, one. Good. You're going to those dips. And behind you. Up and down. Keep your body almost at that 90 degrees. For 45. You want to make it a little easier. Put your feet underneath you. It's a little too difficult. Good. Keep it up. Almost there. Almost done. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Good. All right. <coughs> Next two exercises we're going to do, we're going to need those dumbbells, whatever you had to add a little bit of weight. We'll be doing a dumbbell military press. Keep your arms at your side in that 90 degree. Pressing straight up, arms straight. Back down to that starting position. We're going to do 30 seconds of that. And then transition into 30 seconds of bicep curls. It's important you want to have the dumbbell in this position. You're going up and then rotate your arm to have the dumbbell more flat. 
to avoid hitting yourself in the leg. All right. We're gonna start with military press in three, two, one, go. Good. Go back to that starting position at 90 degrees. So get right there, all the way up. Good. You can also use a broom for this exercise with a backpack attached. Anything that you want to use to add weight, or if the weight can look too much, you can always do this with a towel, pull it tight. Good, we're gonna transition those to curls in three, two, one, good. Remember, as we go down, we want to rotate. Dumbbells will be avoid hitting ourselves in the quad. Same thing as we're going up. We want to hold to the top. Focus on that nice contraction of the bicep at the top. Good. Almost there. One more exercise, and we're done with this round. Good. Keep it up. Those elbows to your body. Try to focus on just using that bicep to bring it up. Good. We're done. Three, two, one. Good. Now we're going to take this weight off to the side. And now what we're going to do is called a chair hop over, where it's very well, I'll do it two different ways. So you're going to put your hands in the same position you would for the incline push up, but now you're going to jump side to side, or if you have a little bit too straightness on your knees, you can come up in front. Quickly lateral the jump side to side, or a little easier. Here. Add that little bit of cardio aspect, got a heart rate up. Alright, I'll transition to the three. So you can do whichever one you choose. Alright. I'm gonna start in three, two, one, go. Keep it up, we're almost done. Good, almost there. You're doing great, keep it up. I'm transitioning to the lateral jumps. It helps to lift something that's aligned to make sure you keep jumping over it. Good, almost there. All right, transition to the next one. I need. Step to the side. I need. Step to the side. Good. We're almost there. Almost done. Come on. Ten more seconds. Let's go. Almost there. Come on. Three, two, one. Good. Awesome job in that first round. Now what you're gonna do? You have four or five more, depending on how. Why don't you want to push yourself today? Why don't you go ahead and restart this video? And I hope you had fun.